Good morning, I'm a state certified instructor. I teach teens and adults. Today, we're gonna to talk about driving in bad weather. This is driving with the miles. While driving in bad weather, the best drivers are the ones who make calm and aware situations safely. Number two, hydroplaning is when you ride on a film of thin water. You want to reduce your speed, you want to take your time, and you have to drive slower. Don't hit your brakes and don't hit your gas pedal. Number three, what is one way to get traction for your tires when your car is stuck? You can use your rubber floor mats under the tires. They allow you to have traction in the snow. Next, when is it safe to use your high beams? Is it during the day when no cars are around, during the night when a lot of cars are around, during the night when there are a few cars are around, during the night when there are no cars around? The correct answer is during a night when there are no cars around. Number five, when driving in snow, you should follow the tracks of the vehicle in front of you because the correct answer is uh, B, the tracks are drier, uh, the tracks do make it more visible, but the tracks are drier because they have driven through the snow and they're, they're actually lines, your tracks you can follow. Number six, at dusk, you should keep your car on, high beams on, car off, or low beams on. You need to keep your low beams on. Number seven, what should you do when driving in heavy fog? High beams decrease speed. Decrease following distance, low beams, decrease speed, decrease following distance, high beams off, decrease speed, increase following distance, or low beams, decrease speed, increase following distance. The correct answer is D, low speed, <clears throat> excuse me, decrease speed, increase following distance. How can you keep the inside of your windows clear in high humidity or rainy conditions? use your windshield wipers or use the defroster or air conditioning. The correct answer is use your defroster or air conditioning. If you're driving into sun glare from bright sunlight, you can reduce your glare and eye strain by using your defroster or air conditioning or using your sunglasses or sun visor. Using your sunglasses and sun visor. Number 10, hydroplaning occurs when rolling on the sidewalk during a turn, losing contact in the road, or losing all air pressure. The correct one is B, losing contact with the road. You see this blue icon to the right. When driving at night with no other vehicles present, use the low beam headlights or high beam headlights. It is high beam headlights. That's what that uh, symbol is, a blue light and that blue represents high beam. Number 12, stop on the shoulder of the road in heavy fog, warning others that you are not moving. Keep your headlights on, shut off your headlights, or use your emergency flashers. You wanna use your emergency flashers or hazard flashers. It is that triangle shape. You push that, that turns your emergency flashers on, your two front and two rear. When driving in snow, you should use your low beams to reduce speed, high beam headlights to reduce speed, stay home, or use low beam lights and speed up. Use your low beam lights and reduce speed. Rain tends to make roadway slickest as the rain begins to fall, or about 15 minutes after the rain falls. As the rain begins to fall, the oil and gas are mixed together, create a paste. So you gotta be careful and reduce your speed. If you must drive through deep water, apply your brakes lightly through the water or maintain normal accelerator pressure. The correct one is A, apply brakes pressure lightly through the water. If your windows ice up and traction conditions are especially hazardous, it might be best to drive very slow, drive closer to other vehicles, or not drive at all. 
In some cases, it's best not to drive at all. Why can a bridge surface freeze before road surfaces do? The roadway has the warmth built in it. Air, cold air circulates above and below the bridge road surface. It is B, the cold air circulates above and below. They can ice up first. You need to reduce your speed. Black ice, it provides more traction than regular ice. It is a thin sheet of visible ice or it's easy to see. It is a thin sheet of invisible ice. If your vehicle's temperature light comes on, turn on air conditioning, turn on air, turning off the air conditioning may have no effect on the engine, help the engine cool, or make the engine run hotter. If your car is overheating and your temperature light comes on, you want to turn on, you can possibly turn on the heat or possibly turn off the air conditioning, turn on the heat that would get that hot air outside of the engine. Never remove your radiator cap on a hot engine because the hot liquid inside will evaporate, the hot liquid inside will cool down too much, the hot liquid inside can scald you. It is C, the hot liquid can scald you and basically burn your skin. If you use high beam headlights in snow, rain or fog, you will have better long range vision, more light reflecting back in your eyes, a better chance of seeing hazards. The correct answer is B, a better chance and more light reflecting back into your eyes. So it's more light reflecting back into your eyes. In reduced visibility conditions, you need to work hard to gather your visual information because you need more time to respond to hazards, the reflexes slow in bad weather, others need to see you. The correct answer is you need more time to respond to hazards. If you have a leak in your vehicle's exhaust system, you could experience a carbon dioxide gas, a buildup of carbon monoxide gas, increase engine performance. The correct answer is a buildup of carbon monoxide gas. When driving on slippery roads, you should always use cruise control, never use cruise control, use cruise control only on highways. The correct answer is never use cruise control on slippery roads. Last one, when driving in fog, you should use your low beam headlights, High beam headlights or parking lights, the correct one is your low beam headlights. If this brought you value and you learned something today, subscribe to the channel. I will be doing more tutorials like this to prepare you for your DMV test. Thank you.